and now we just make the wheel shape and the wheel thickness would be the distance between these two sides with a little bit of clearance so let's measure this and from this point to this point so the distance is 0 0.07 meters we save this Um, wheel bucket. And open another file. In the front plane, we make a revolving sketch. of which the line would be 0 0.05 or 0 0.06 so we just draw some arbitrary lines and make some of the dimensions and this would be 0 0.07 or 0 0.06 make these three things asymmetric control plus all these all these three we mirror this entire thing with respect to this line better this part would be for area of the bearings or the area where the shaft would be connected because this little portion would be carrying most of the loads so let's just dimension them a little more we'll be making them as 0 0.05 Restrict this area as well. Say point zero three, maybe a little more or less zero two, because this area would hardly take mm, any of the loads. I could just make these three points symmetric similarly, and another dimension to be added is this one. This would be the shaft radius. So one point five. Oops. Point zero one five. Let's say this make it point one meters. Make these two equal. And so this one point zero eight. Similar to this portion is point zero two would be good enough for us. Now we go for the revolve, but for that before that we make a central line as reference geometry. The, the entire thing would be revolving about this Thing. 
Now we save this one as well. As Peloton V1. And now make assembly from this part. Insert the runner component. Looks like this isn't quite a bit good fit so we just enhance the dimensions we just go back to the main wheel edit the sketch make this dimension as so one meter and this one as 0.95 of the meters we make this as point two now let's, uh, let's see how it looks the shaft is going to be too small so we just enhance it once again better I think but before that let's just edit the sketch and lessen these dimensions a little bit make this point 8 and this one as point 7 let's see how this thing look, look, looks like now yeah much better now we move this part now we just go for the mates and for that we choose this top plane to be parallel with this face and we go for another advanced mate so be the symmetric mate in this case we choose the symmetry plane to be the right plane and the planes which would be symmetric about this plane would be these two they are much better and now for another mate we try to make this plane to be at a constant distance from the same top plane. And the standard mate would be this distance mate. And say distance would be 0 0.7 and 4 how about that and they're much better looks pretty good enough for us now we just make some of the patterns of it and that would be circular patterns the parameter would be this circle any of the circle you choose and the component will be this one now we choose how many of it we need there is an optimum number of number of runners for every Pelton wheel specification you may just go for any of the fluid mechanics or fluid machineries books for the further information about it so we'll be just leaving it 15 for the time moment 
and in this case you need to consider that when the jet hits this face it does not rebound to the back surface of this other runner and neither that it may be wasted and for for that removal of wastages we have cut it this face out and this is our Pelton wheel and if we now wish to assign some of the materials we just go to the material out here edit the material in most of the cases you might just see steel alloys or cast alloys we just go for the carb cast carbon steel at the moment we apply it and to limit the appearance is modified and in this case we assign the material as AISI steel as stainless steel the appearances are updated out here as well and if you want furthermore we just could apply some of the colors add some metal and steel Let's see how it looks. We could just modify the colors as well. Let's say we want it painted. Car paints. Go for the entire part. And our buckets are updated out here. And if you want the wheel to be colored as well, we can go for that as well. Let's see how many colors we have. Uh, say we wish to go for somewhat like gold. And uh, that's our goldish looking Pilton wheel. And if you wish to go for the rendering, you can go for the renderings. And for the rendering approaches, you may just look for the previous tutorials that is available in our channel. And that would be all for this one. Hope you have enjoyed it. Hit the like button below if uh, you have. Please subscribe and share. Thanks for watching.